So, we are going to paint a Plague Marine, and we are going to do this in the classic Erezy scheme. So, fellas, so we are going to start here. Now, this one here has been primed with Letter Brown, but uh, because, like, primer is never really perfect, you, uh, you need to kind of touch it up. Uh, so, the good news is... Uh, that steel legion drab is almost exactly the same uh, so you can use that one if you don't have the the shaker can um, you can use steel legion drab it's it's much better than letter brown but letter brown comes in a can and then you can just repaint it and the color match so that's really up to you uh, if you're doing a whole army i highly recommend that you use the shaker can for this so we start over on that brown color whichever one you choose you chose and then we're gonna go straight with a skeleton bone here and then any they're all the same right so whatever whatever color has bone in it um it's usually the the right one can be more gas bone if you like a little bit more yellow uh can be you know ushab t bone ushab t bone and skeleton bones i think are exactly alike but you know they're they're all pick a color that says bone on it and you're you're off to the races we're gonna highlight our, our little uh plague marine here uh, so we're gonna go top down so that the bottom stays brown top one or top areas stay uh become bone uh, all right so we can clean this and now we got you see so now if i look uh from under it it's almost all of that brown but if i look from on top all that bone color so brown bone, bone. and then when you look at it like from the the mill then you get like this this kind of uh you know this interesting uh fade in color like the, you can see it here it's kind of sexy or the power fist all sexy that's what we want all right so instead of finishing uh the bone color right now what we're going to do is we're going to move in with the green and the green we're going to use castle on green because that uh covers like nobody's business and we're going to do our our um we're going to do a bunch of details, right? All of these, uh, like the classic dead guard colors. So usually you can go more into the gray. I know there's some debate as to whether it's like green or um, green or uh, darker gray. Because a lot of the, a lot of grays has like a lot of int of green in them. So, so you, they kind of both fit. All right. So now, once that castle and green is done, next what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this with dead guard green. You can't read it because it's uh, all sloppy, but it's dead guard green. Um, yeah, so the difference, so this one here, we're going to put a lot more effort into this one than in the speed painted one that that, that is also a, a video. Uh, so the, mind you, my army, my whole dead guard army is all very similar to the speed painted one. But this one here, you would get like a, a really good paint score. So now that we have our um, our guy here, so that we have two colors uh, on there on both surfaces. So we got, you know, the bone as a highlight and then the green as a highlight. Now what we're going to add is some sort of battle damage. And for that, we're going to take Rhinox Hide, which I really like. You can also use uh, this one here, Doom Bull. Doom Bull is nice as well. I can see that. Uh, they're, bo they're both sort of nice. Now, we're going to go with this one. This one's a good good classic. Classic. I like that one. We can do both. We can do well, no, we cannot do both. We can do either. That's not that's not true. Don't, don't stack them. Doom bull? Let's do that. Ah, let's do doom bull. You know what? You know what? You, know, you only live once. Uh, here, let's go. Let's get crazy. Let's get wild, folks. Well, I just said I just said that stuff was not entertaining enough. Let's uh, you know, let's get wow, let's get crazy. They both work. Uh, I think I think this one is going to be more eye catching, whereas Rhinox would be perhaps a little bit more realistic. And now, now you need a sponge for this. So get 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 you a big sponge like that. All right. So now so we got this, and then we got our Doom Bowl Brown, and now we're just gonna. We're just going to dab. We're going to bring it back to 2015 and we're just going to dab a little bit. So again, we're going to do the entire model here. So now, our guy here, now it looks kind of weird, right? Because it's, it's all of these colors that are not really going together and nothing is, is done. So what we're going to do right now 
is we're going to do one clean coat of seraphim sepia onto the, the entire model. So the seraphim sepia is the yellowish uh, color. Ooh, are we? We are. Uh, oh, we're fine. We got plenty in the tank. So now what you can do this. Uh, when I did my old my old army, sorry about like this. Uh, I did the, an oil wash with this, but uh, seraphim sepia is kind of easier to. It's kind of easy easier to, to use, and so we're we're just doing it now because it's much easier since we're covering everything anyway. It's much easier to do it now and just be careful after than try to do it once everything is kind of painted. And the reason we're going for sepia is because it's much more interesting than brown uh, because it, it adds just another kind of layer of color into the, the bone, uh, into the skeleton bone, which is like very, very like muted because it's, well, bone colored. Man, look at that, look at that dude. Doesn't he look like a, you know, avatar of fitness right there. Now we're going to take Bugman's, uh, Bugman's Glow. And we're going to do all of the skin tone and all of the tentacles. And, uh, well, basically anything that's like fleshy. So we're going to start with this little, this one here. And we're going slowly right next to the armor because we don't want to touch it up, right? Maybe that's like an actual uh, scheme for... Um, Dead guard, like one of the new, one of the, the sub faction, like the Mortarians Anvil or something. That's like still Erzy era color. That way, I don't get crucified online for saying Erzy era or uh... no. Actually, Erzy era is kind of correct because that's, you know, that's when the, these tentacles started to grow. I guess. Let's go for that. That's I'm fine with this lore. Let's. Let's forge this narrative. All right, so now we are good to go here with this. So all of the skinny stuff is, um, all of the skinny stuff, excuse me, is done, uh, is done in Bugman's Glow. And now we're gonna come back here with our Steel Legion Drab. And we're basically just gonna repaint the entire, um, all of the teeth and all of the horns. Steel Legion Drab. Here we go. Uh, again, if you have like leather brown, you can use leather brown for this. But I like I like Steel Legion Drab because it covers like nobody's business. Like one coat over this this whole entire thing, and good to go. It's move, moving on. Okay. Now let's uh, let's keep building up our our base colors here. So let's add. So now we're gonna move in with Balthazar Gold. It says gold on the label, but I, I think I say it every single time we use this. Uh, this is this gets bronze really really quickly. So, so we're gonna start with the obvious and kind of work our way into the more intricate details, maybe. So now we're gonna do the the plates. Okay, so now we are good to go in terms of the gold. So let's move into this uh, this rust color, and now now we're gonna whip out the now we're gonna whip out the rhinox eye, and that's why uh, this this shading here is interesting because now this is gonna not blend in at all um, with with the rest of the armor, which which is nice because then that was gonna give us like a, a clean clean break. Whereas if we use the same color, then it's it's kind of gonna tie itself together but nah not no nah, no nah, not not us not now now we get to have like a well-defined rust and a well-defined armor so 
You know, it's worth taking our time here, especially like in the chain mail to get like all of the little nooks and crannies. Ooh, low. There's, there's going to be one uh, sexy dead guard. All right. Ooh. Almost uh, made a little, uh, a little messier. But we didn't. All right, so let's let's touch the uh, the tentacles real quick before we uh, we forget again. So there was one here that we kind of uh, didn't notice earlier, and there was one uh, here. And this one kind of loops here. I don't know how we missed it. It's like it's pretty big. It's a large tentacle. All right. Perfect. So that is that is done though. And now the last uh, the last base coat basically that we need is um is for all uh, the, the tubings and the joints and the vents and whatnot. So we're just gonna go for a dead guard here or skin. Oh, let's use skin black dinch. That's a greenish gray. Um, and that that's a really nice color here, especially because we got a lot of like well green on our dead guard so it's gonna it's gonna look perfect come on and this one also covers really well and it's pretty easy to shade because you just add black and it gives you a really nice color and we're being extra careful because that's really the last kind of a last step right so we really don't want to hit anything else. All right, so now we get to add some more fun stuff. So we're going to start with this color right here, which looks good. So it's a Kislev flesh. And we're going to highlight every single uh, flesh tone. Uh, so even if it stays flesh and in a, even if it stays tentacle or if it's going to become tentacle, we're going to highlight all of it. You don't need to make this uh, perfect, especially because it's going to be really steep anyway, so blending this would be really, really hard because it's a very light uh, skin tone, and Bugman's Glow is a really dark skin tone. Alright, so now let's... Uh, just because the, the, the orange here are kind of like connected to the, to the face, we're going to paint those before we do the shading, otherwise we could kind of finish. So now we're going to get our skeleton bone back. And now the difference, now you'll notice that this, the orange are basically the same color as the armor, right? It's uh, Steel Legion or Leather Brown and then Skeleton Bone. But the difference is the way that we're going to shade them are going to be different so that they're, they're going to look like different colors at the end. All right. So we're going to whip out everybody's favorite Agrox Earth Shade. And we are going to shade the shit out of this. So we're only going to do the face and the bones. We're not going to do all of the tentacles. Oops. And we're also going to shade the, the silver because, uh, the gold, sorry, because why not? Alright, so now that that's done, now let's highlight the, the pink tentacles, and to do that we're going to use my favorite color of all time, Volupus Pink. Uh, so we're using contrast, but we're not using it as a contrast, we're really more using it uh, as if it was a shade, but a pretty heavy one. And you're going to see this color looks really, really amazing on top of uh, this, this skin tone. Especially this uh, highlighted skin tone. Oops. So we're gonna take our time here. This is—it's not because we're using contrast that we uh, we get like a free pass to, to to do whatever. Instead, we're gonna be very careful about how how and where we apply this uh, this paint. Because this guy is uh, sticking his tongue out, so we're gonna paint. And then look at it, it's starting to starting to take take some good shapes. And now, last uh, little uh, areas to do. 
is the rust and now the rust now usually the rust one thing that you can do is sponge it like we did for the bell damage but because it's a messy technique and it's really hard to do here uh, we're not gonna do that we're gonna paint it and now this is the simplest technique ever okay guys this is it, it looks a million dollars and it is super easy this this is crock brown right here so now what we're gonna do here is basically just slam it on there there's gonna be almost no method to this madness we're just dotting it so it's practically like the effect that we would get from the sponge but we're doing it with a brush but you can see I'm going pretty haphazardly this is there's not not a lot of like science and technique to this okay there we go so now we've done this and now we're gonna add some more to it because you know that's like all fun and rusty and shit but it ain't pretty enough it needs more it needs more so what we're gonna do is uh, this is shining silver and we're gonna do the exact same thing but with a little bit lighter now but with the shining silver instead so let's get shining silver So now this this is the place where less is more. Okay, we don't want to overdo it because there there will two things. First of all, we don't want to overdo it, and secondly, it will look really really odd right about now. This will look odd. It's okay because uh, we're gonna cover it later. So this is uh, fine. So less is more, right? And now the fun part, we get to add some black to this thing. So not not real black, but non oil. Everybody's favorite from the trifecta. We've used all three. So now this uh, this black here. So we're gonna do this on the everything everything that's rusty, and we're gonna do it on all of our vents because we just painted the silver. We're gonna start with the vents, and that that should give the silver some some time to dry. It does not need that much, but you know, we're gonna help it a little bit. You know, just a little bit. And we're gonna same thing on that little plasma thingy. We got one step left, and we're gonna call this the Chris Ains special because I uh, explained this technique to my friend Chris Ains recently for his custodies, but it works well in this case. So we're gonna hit the Druki Violet, and we're gonna hit the gold, which again is not really gold; it's uh, you know, copper, bronze, something. But we're gonna hit it with that purple. And now we're not not gonna paint everything, but we're just gonna hit the the areas that we want to. Uh, add some more contrast to so all of the recesses so our guy is uh, officially balling okay this model is looking a tight at least I love it so now we're gonna put him aside and we're gonna fetch for a base here oh well let's oh, let's do that one let's just paint this one here there we go so there's a plethora of color that would look nice, but I like, uh, we're going to do a medium gray base, just like a plain old gray um, base, kind of darker and medium. That way it really showcases the, the plain green that's on top. So we're going to start with, oops, we're going to start with a big brush, big brush, and we're going to start with black. There we go. Oops. All right, so black black first any black that excuse me here any black that you have is going to do fine here you don't need anything specific so that looks kind of neat and now we're going to add ultron gray and we're going to dry brush ultron now this one you have to be careful because now that's a pretty big uh, change in color from like a dark gray to a light gray so now we have to now we cannot just go super ape shit. We have to be somewhat, uh, some, somewhat more careful with our dry brush. So it's a good idea to test it around the edges just to see. So you see, we're adding a lot, right? Like you've seen the the line there. So that's that tells you, you know, two ape shit. So okay. So the, oh, this is this is much better. This is where it's at. So now we're like building the actual color on there. Now we get like a fun. Oh yeah, here we go. Again, it's open, but you know, need to build it. Yeah. Right, 
two minutes, base done. Thank you very much. So now we got like a good, you know, a good, a good, good, interesting little contrast. Nothing too crazy, nothing wild. Just good enough. But it would work with gray, no problem. So we're just gonna paint the edges here real quick. Here we have it, our Erezy scheme, playing Marines in all of his battle worn glory. Uh, so if you're watching this on uh, on on video, there's gonna be a little uh, fancier showcase. Maybe we add something to the base. I'm not sure yet.